story of the Harley Davidson Sportster S is one that stretches back to the mid 1950s and the first XL badged motorcycles. From then, the Sportster built its own niche in the Harley Davidson range, forging a path as one of the lightest and most popular Harley Davidson models. Today, the name is as familiar to petrol heads as Mustang, Thunderbird, and Corvette, and the Sportster predates almost all of those. With such weight of expectation riding on the shoulders of the new 2021 model, Harley threw the kitchen sink at the bike, hurling its brand new Revolution Max 1250T engine into an all new lightweight frame and chassis. Like the Pan America that we rode earlier this year, the Sports Duress uses the engine as a stressed member, allowing the design team to build the bike out from there. The result is a squat and aggressive looking bike, with little or no overhangs at the front and rear. Swinging a leg over the Sportster for the first time accentuates that squat aesthetic. Your chin feels like it's almost right above the headstock. Although the riding position, with either the midset or the feet forward for controls, is surprisingly neutral and comfortable. The launch event in Manchester was a very wet affair, and with the bikes in rain mode, the Sports Dress is as accessible as any A2 licensed bike that I've ridden. The traction control works away in a barely imperceivable manner, and the throttle connection feels crisp and well set up. Heading out of Manchester and onto Snake Pass, and the dry roads are egging me on to switch the bike up into its full fat sport mode. The ultra direct throttle response is now wrenching at my shoulders as the bike's maximum 120 bhp is sent straight to the back wheel. It's no surprise when you see that huge front tyre to hear that the Sportster S is a point and squirt motorcycle. You basically drive it into the corner as fast as you dare, get it stood up and use the 92 pound foot of torque to fire you out at the next straight. Admittedly, it's not the prettiest of riding styles, but it never failed to bring a smile to my face when we were on the launch. The suspension of the bike is now fully adjustable at both ends, with Italian braking Supremo's Brembo supplying the stopping power. The fully adjustable element is a nice touch on the bike, although how much it'll affect the handling, it's only got a small amount of travel, around 92mm at the front and 37 at the rear, does remain to be seen. On base settings, the bike is firm and you get a relatively good amount of feedback despite that balloon tyre setup. If there was one thing that I didn't agree with or didn't enjoy on the bike on the launch, it was the wet weather grip. When you're turning the bike, it just didn't feel like it was inspiring any confidence for me to push on. One aspect of the 2021 Sportster S that might not please the purists is the thoroughly modern feel to the bike. It doesn't shake, judder or rumble at tick over. The clocks are TFT and the brakes, suspension and clutch all work as you'd expect them to on a modern motorcycle. For some, that belligerent grumble at low speed and shuddering through the frame when sat at the lights is all part of the story. I think they're missing the point though. The reason the old Sportster isn't around anymore is because it couldn't modernise. To emissions, to a changing rider demographic, basically to the modern world in general. This is a Sportster for that modern world. It has Bluetooth connectivity, riding modes, switchable traction control and can be set up with heated grips and so much more. It is also now as much at home parked outside a funky warehouse party as it is at a roadside cafe. The Sportster S is in a busy little niche in the market. It's flanked by bikes like the Triumph Bobber Black and the Indian FTR 1200 and Chief. A little further up the road are bikes like the Rocket 3 and the leader in the performance cruiser niche, the Ducati Diavel. Now Harley made a lot of noise about going after the Diavel with the Sportster S and do I think they did it? No. In a word, 120 bhp fighting 162 just doesn't go. But is it more of a match for the bikes more closely related to it in the form of the Bobber Black and the Indian FTR? Absolutely. And it's coming out swinging. Yeah.